one of the tour here at Yankee Stadium. Not here at Yankee Stadium, going to Yankee Stadium. First time ever in New York, Times Square. It's so exciting to see it in person. It's insane. All the right there behind me, look at all that. We're here, we made it. And yeah, let's get it. Time for Jonas Brothers Yankee Stadium, let's go. I will say one thing I noticed here in New York, aside from the pigeons, I just don't care about other uh, humans around. It's, yesterday was like a culture shock. It's just so much happening, so many people at once. It was just a lot. But now, second day here, it's just so calm. You really get to take it in more and really just soak it in more. Yesterday was just so like a little overwhelming when you're not when you're from the country and not from this type of atmosphere. And now that I'm really able to take it in, it's really awesome. I love it to death. It's an amazing place. Um, that's a place I want to live. A little too hectic for me, but a beautiful place to come and visit. So it's awesome that this show has brought me here to experience this.
what's up guys? I realized as I was about to start editing this vlog that I didn't film an outro in New York or at the stadium because it was just such a whirlwind. It was 48 hours just bam, bam, bam in NYC for the first time ever in my life. So as I'm here in my studios about to edit the vlog, I was like, we gotta film an outro and do a little, do a little show and tell. So I'm doing a little show and tell here. As you can tell, I got my editing right. You see right there the cover of the album. Currently listening to the vinyl on my speakers while I get through the editing process. Some nice music. And yeah, I just want to show you guys some of the stuff that we got here in NYC. Stopped by the Hard Rock Cafe and got the Hurricane free glass if you get the drink. So that was awesome. And then we got the program. If you follow the Jones Brothers on social media, it's a book that they made about the tour. I highly recommend if you go to the tour, get the book. It is so cool to read through the stories in here and read about how they built the show. You literally get to see a picture of the napkin that Nick drew the stage concept on. And like, you don't get that anywhere else. So I highly recommend you get this. As you can tell, obviously, I got the Yankee Stadium shirt because you gotta get the Yankee Stadium shirt. I mean, come on. And also, it's quite rolled up here from the concert, but we did get the poster. And I'll do a little clip where you can actually like see it. that was the poster and then also we have the wristband lights that they had for every guest in the stadium i didn't keep my wristband i got for floor access because it's just one of the snap-on wristbands and i didn't think it was like super like super like you know sentimental but this was super awesome to have and i plan to uh if i can keep changing the battery in and out so it never dies because then it's so awesome to just have and hang on the wall and just kind of do the led effect it was so awesome. I think it was a beautiful touch to the whole show having this effect. But yeah, just to round out the whole video, phenomenal trip. I mean, it was just such a whirlwind. Maybe a little bit overwhelming the first day, you know, seeing New York for the first time and the traffic and the atmosphere. But the second day, really selling in, getting to walk around Times Square, going to Hard Rock, going to Yankee. So awesome. The concert was phenomenal. I mean, it's just the best Jonas Brothers concert you could have. It's three hours celebrating their catalog. And yes, they skip over some stuff like it's about time and five and camp rock if you're in the group that's like we need camp rock i mean i like camp rock but we don't need camp rock in the show but you know to celebrate the five albums that i would consider the five instrumental albums in the Jonas brothers and their success and their story i would consider these the five so i understand i'm fine with it i'm not fine if we didn't get don't charge me for the crime if it's a crime we didn't get don't charge me for the crime we did get big rob in the rap and we got John Bellion and Kirk Franklin and the choir doing the SNL type performance of Walls, which was, it blew my mind. It was so good. It was so phenomenal. It blew me away. I looked at the people next to me. I said, I think I just had an outer body experience listening to Walls. The rain came down and drenched us. I was soaking wet, but you know, football days trained me and you know, it was worth it. It was worth every single bit, every single little bit of stress walking around New York. But I will say New York is a beautiful city. I don't know if I could ever live there, but it's a beautiful city to visit. The city seeing these landmarks, seeing the World Trade Center for the first time really was a lot because that's something I have always researched growing up. And seeing Grand Central Station and just Times Square, it was just so encompassing and something I've been wanting my whole life to be able to see and experience. I'm so glad I was able to. And so I'll go, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you were at the show and what, you, what were your thoughts about the show? I think it's a phenomenal show. Kicked by the ocean, shook the whole building. The lights were awesome, the storm and the lightning was awesome the little moments in the show were great uh, my favorite moment is when nick was like when we broke up and joe was like we that was you buddy i love that moment but thank you guys so much for watching make sure to subscribe if you haven't already make sure you like this video if you enjoyed make sure to hit that bell button down below so you know if i had every single time up a brand new video to the channel and more vlogs on the way more music we're gonna be doing a lot of cool stuff with uh jonas brothers music and my own music soon so my name is one more snap out peace oh, i'm so oblivious